weird. Okay, so let's get into what's going on. When this connection will happen. So this is probably something that's heavily on your mind. You're probably really thinking about um, something that's happened already in this connection. I mean, it's a deep connection, but clearly you're in your thoughts for some reason. I feel like this energy has come out recently. You're wanting a reunion with this person. This is someone who's a very special person to you, okay? Like you have a connection like no other. So when you're not together, it may feel like life just sucks, like things aren't working out in general, like you're in a lackful state. You may feel like you lose money or opportunities when you're not with this person because it's just such a different vibration than when you are with this person. When you are with this person, I feel like they pump you up. Whether they try to or not, there's just this energetic flow between the two of you that is unexplainable. So when you're not with them, it's not just you that suffers. It's actually them as well. You both kind of go in this depressed state. For some, it's been a long time since you haven't spoke to this person and you've been waiting for them to come forward. For some of them, for some of you, you're even thinking about actually, maybe I should just leave the situation. Maybe I should just move forward and stop hanging on to this wish that this person is finally going to communicate and bring clarity to my life in regards to our connection and where it's going. So I'm not suggesting you do either, but I do suggest never to wait, right? Because the energy of waiting doesn't bring you what you want. And it looks like what you truly want here is a deep, honest um, conversation. You want to be open and know like, where do we stand? So then you feel that this way you can move forward instead of like sitting here in the stagnant energy. But the advice will always be to follow your gut, to follow your instincts. And usually the high priestess doesn't say, just sit and wait. She may say like, don't reach out. Don't, you don't have to do anything. Know what you want. But she doesn't say to just sit and wait ever, especially not in the lackful energy of the five of pentacles. So with the king of wands and the page of wands, I feel like right now, this person is kind of focused on something that happened in the past between the two of you. So this could have been just that this didn't really work out in the beginning. Maybe it had an interesting start, um, but something clearly happened. And this person is also contemplating, can I move forward? Can I communicate with this person? Like, because they're seeing the connection more for what it is. They're going from the King of Wands to the Page of Wands. And in this case, it's pretty good actually, because instead of focusing on the past and the actions that were taken in the past or weren't taken in the past, it's time for a fresh start. It's time for this person to actually come forward and speak up and say how they feel about you. And this could be something that they've been holding back for quite some time, or maybe that they were uncertain of, right? And that could be because there was so much conflict, or at least they assumed there was so much conflict. I almost feel like this person kind of projected their fears from past relationships onto you, the hermit card, right? even though they knew better then. And in the past, one thing that could have happened is someone could have walked away from this person um, that they were in a long-term commitment with. And here's the King of Pentacles. So this person could have this underlying vibe of like, things just don't work out for me. I don't get what I want, or I put a lot of effort in and then it just disappears on me. So this person is sitting here contemplating. They're really wondering can I have this? Can this work out? Can we be together and be happy? And meanwhile, you're wondering, should I just move on? Because I've been holding on waiting for conversation or waiting for communication. And it just doesn't feel right anymore to be in this dark spot. So obviously, I'm going to say it one more time, like, don't wait and don't hold on. Just, you know, move forward always because forward movement is what brings more forward movement. So there's definitely energetic blockages here. We have two sevens coming up. And that was actually the seven of swords. I, I'm going to get that because, you know, there's no coincidence. And that's a pretty big synchronicity here to have three sevens come out in a row. Um, the interesting thing about this, and let's just move this over a little bit. But the interesting thing about this, I just want you to see that is this person doesn't want to do anything wrong right now. That's what the seven swords in reverse is about. They don't want to do anything wrong. They don't want to cause more blockages. It's almost like they're afraid to come forward because they might mess this up worse than it is. And um, that's pretty sad, you know? This person may take blame for what they did in another situation in the past. And they're like, I don't want to do this to another person. I don't want to hurt another person. Very possible, right? So... It's been a long time as well as what I get for many of you. 
And this is part of the reason this person is like, should I even bother coming forward? Um, you know, and a lot of you are like, when are they going to come forward? And this person doesn't even realize like, yes, they should bother coming forward because you will be more than happy to have a conversation with them. Even if you have differences, the strength card here, even if there's differences between you, you're very loving and caring. I mean, that's what your energy is showing as well. And look at, we have the nine of pentacles. So it looks to me as though you're not trying to force anything here. Actually, you're quite happy on your own, but you do want this communication. You do want this understanding. You don't want to leave things the way that they left off, right? You want this person to come forward. You want some action to be taken here and to have a new beginning moving forward as well is what I get here. So that's a pretty heavy message. Let's see what else we get. I was just looking at the center. And we have the world card. And what that advice is next to the queen of swords, it's kind of to let go, to take your power back and to move forward. It's not that it's kind of, it's a natural process that's going to happen. Um, you can prolong it by waiting or you can just start moving forward. And it looks like when you do move forward, possibly blockages could be removed. It's just like magically almost with the magician here. Um, but whatever it is, you still, you still go to your happiness. And you still go through a period where you connect with yourself and you are you become aware that you know it's not always going to be a dark time and look what comes out of the moon card um, the communication will come through eventually but you can't wait for it because you could just be waiting for such a long time here right the nine of swords at the bottom so it's really time to let go and look at the four of cups right underneath it's like when you move forward and let it go this offer communication whatever it may be does come in and it does come from this person that you have this connection with you know whether or not it's going to work out well look what we have the ace of cups this person is definitely going to eventually come forward and it looks like with the aces we have here we have three now um, this person could be offering something you know about love or to do with love this could be a total turnaround for this person this could be something that's so unexpected because i'm seeing the emperor here and I feel like this is this person's uh, true energy, emperor energy, someone who's stubborn, someone who's traditional, someone who only moves when they want to move. So this is the type of person that you really shouldn't argue with or like that, you know, you have to use logic here and kind of um, counteract it. So you don't tell this person what to do. You may suggest it or say you're going to do it. And that could get this person moving. But if you're like, oh, you should come or come with me, they're going to be like, no, I can't. I'm busy type of thing. That's what I'm getting from that. It's very interesting. So yeah, let's see what else we get. So we have the hangman. And this is this person hung on thoughts of should I move forward or should I not? Because in the past, this person was very strong minded and determined um, to make this connection seem like it wasn't going to work. Okay, maybe there was an argument. Maybe you guys have different points of view. And this king of wands is looking at the past like, no, like we're not even the same. We can't even really do this anyways. But then there's a part of this king of wands, the page of wands, who sees this from a different angle, from a different perspective, even with the hangman here. Um, and says, you know what, like maybe this can work. Maybe if I just speak up and tell my truth and explain how hard this is for me, because I think that love is pretty hard for this person right they may think it's crazy they may have i don't know they may think it's crazy especially the amount of love that you've offered them as well they may be like how could this person actually love me okay so you know what i just heard so this person i mean i don't know what level they're at to assume that you don't have self-love and it may be an accurate uh, thought right but what i just heard is like they don't love themselves so this person may actually think that you don't really love yourself because you've allowed yourself to stay in this situation and be in confusion. And often, to be honest, people that love themselves and that have healed from heartache, they're not going to do that, right? They're going to get moving. And then that also is a bit more of a challenge. And I mean, naturally, people gravitate towards things that don't just... Um, wait for them literally right people that don't wait for them situations that don't wait for them they think they're going to lose it and that's when they're like no i got to come in i got to rush in but i think right now this person um, is quite unsure because you're willing to stay in a toxic connection and you know that's what it's come to at this point it's gotten quite toxic so this person is unsure about whether or not to come forward okay 
So let's get a couple more messages from this person. I'm gonna go to this deck and see what they're saying. I lied to you so many times, I don't even know why. So that's another issue, you know, people can bury their own grave by doing things like that. Like they just lied and lied and lied about the silliest things even. And then they're just like, oh my God, I'm just, I've, I've ruined this. I've ruined this situation. It's based on lies now, you know? And this is, they don't love me like you love me. With you, I know it's real. So this person is probably feeling guilt that they would lie to someone that truly loves and accepts them for who they are, right? Let's see. Every day I think about you and I feel my stomach turn from regrets, okay? So this person is definitely having regrets in this situation. They're definitely feeling this, but the advice for you is to actually move forward, to not stay in a dark spot, to not stay wondering what's going on, to take your power back. Um, it's actually like a beautiful journey for you moving forward. And if you're questioning it and you're in your head nonstop about this connection and when this reunion will happen and why you know this other side of it had to happen why you both had to kind of separate and go through all of this it's best to just drop it right that's the first stage like just drop it and move forward for now and go back to that when you're not so overthinking it go back to that when you're not angry about what happened anymore because it looks like right now this person is you know maybe shifting maybe making plans to move forward that are not aggressive, you know, because maybe this person's like, oh, I'm going to rush in there and tell them that they're wrong and they did wrong to me. But that's not the best way to handle this with the seven of swords in reverse. It's actually best to organize their thoughts and move forward calmly and, you know, have success here in a new beginning instead of sabotaging it. Okay, we'll get one more card. just take the top one that came out here so it says we will be together again and I mean that's pretty hopeful and that's what this person does wish for um, you know you don't have to wait for it though yes you can be together again one day at the right time but I really feel that staying in your head you're losing your value you're you're decreasing your value of spirit, of your time, you're giving too much energy to the situation. And it already says we will be together again. So why even give all your energy to this, right? It's a lot of confusion. And I just saw that this person does feel you even though you're apart. So that's something positive, okay? And remember, I did bring these cards out and it was wondering when this connection will come back together. So it's not sure exactly when. This is the card of healing. This is temperance. We have fire and water. So there could be a fire and water sign. It's also showing the fire turning into water. So what once was harsh or kind of felt like a burn is going to soothe and heal eventually. And then we have the two of cups. So this actually does show two people coming together. But I feel like with the energy of the temperance, it's in divine timing. It's when people have healed and moved forward and they're no longer in a toxic energy, okay? So that is your message. I thank you so much for being here. Let me know if this resonates with you. Is this your message? Um, because it's pretty big. It really is. This person definitely is thinking about you. Their perspective is changing and now they're trying to figure out exactly how to come forward because they've messed things up in this situation. They let you down. They let themselves down and it's hard to handle. Thank you so much. Bye for now.